So as you can see, our fine work opening this thing up, we were just curious how this antenna is connected to the board and it's actually soldered to the board. We thought it was something that we can unbolt and put on the other unit but unfortunately with our luck that's not the case. So now let's go to Emilio. Emilio is rummaging through his box of treasures to find an actual adapter that we could use to uh, mount the antenna. So today we have a new DIY video for you. Uh, we're uh, actually I've been having some problems with my stereo. Why don't and, you tell everybody why you're having problems with uh, the stereo? Okay, so um, when we were doing the restoration on the car, what happened was for a sh brief period of time we didn't have the windshield on the car, and it, the car had to be moved out of the body shop, and it rained for a little bit, and now my stereo doesn't work. Now, so basically Emil, you flooded the vehicle, <laughs> and that's why it doesn't work. Emil, being the good friend that he is, he's uh, letting me permanently borrow uh, his amazing stereo that may or may not work. Yes, price Everyone, will be discussed after the install, <laughs> after we make sure it works. Well, uh, I think it comes with your famous taillight tail warranty. warranty. Correct. <laughs> as soon as my taillights are this, out that parking lot, then the warranty is uh, done. <laughs> This is like brand new product here. Like brand new, this it's been refurbished and so basically this is going to be a DIY for a stereo install on the E46 on the 2004 BMW. Factory. Yeah, but yeah, it's going to be a little unusual. Usually you see these videos and they always put something cool in there. We're doing the opposite. We're going <laughs> from old to actually older. <laughs> this is actually no, this one's from a newer one. This this is from an older one. But well, the only difference is the buttons are not here. They're here. Let's let's try this, and uh, we'll we'll see how things go. Um, I think it should be. I mean, uh, this is fairly straightforward. I've taken apart the dashboard many times, but uh, you know, we'll share with our audience how it's done. It's fairly simple. If anyone has a faulty stereo like I do, uh, or you know, did something stupid and got water in it and it doesn't work, so this should do the trick. Although you know, what it's is an M5. No, that's an M54, that's the motor. That's what the, it's actually, you see they, it says right here, 325 XI and M54, which, which this is, so that should fit no problem. Made in Portugal, so you know it's good, somewhere yeah. in Europe. Well, it's BMW. Basically, we're replacing OEM with OEM. Simple, should be a... Uh, and if it works, you owe me some money. We'll see about that. Let's get going. Alrighty, let's get started. So these are the tools that uh, we're going to use. Um, we, I, don't, I don't think we'll need the flathead, but uh, definitely this is a must. This is a pry tool. Um, and the reason why this is a must, because if you use like something like a, a flathead, the flathead will scratch up the paneling when you try to remove it. So this is a little more gentler and you know if you wanna if you want to do it properly I would also use some masking tape around the uh, uh, paneling uh, the trim molding whatever you're removing so uh, it won't scratch it up um, flashlight is handy more masking tape uh, well hopefully you don't need that and a Phillips head screwdriver that's about it so this is the proper way of doing things. You don't want to scuff up the trim piece. So it's always good to tape it up when removing it. <laughs> if it likes to stick. Oh, well, it curves. So you want to gently pry on it, you don't want to yank it. 
and uh, always use a plastic pry, pry tool pry tool I should say don't use a screwdriver this piece is ready to come out no 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 it, it has to come out straight there it goes so we gotta remove that one no then that one and that one that's it there's just two screws and we should be ready to go as long as we don't lose them so we disconnected the harness there's Ooh. there's where the harness goes and we disconnected the antenna wire this so this should be a different. fairly st straightforward the harness connection is correct though is it yeah except there's a uh, another one there but yeah. we don't need that yeah it seems like nothing plugs into that anyway yeah there's nothing there i think this is from a newer one this is an older one they changed it no this is the newest one there is this is the this is basically almost the last year of the E46. You have the antenna is different. Oh no. Let's see. Let me let's take a look. You here. have the antenna adapter. So we ran into a little bit of a snag. The antenna is different. Just needs an antenna. So there must be an adapter. Yeah, so let's try to, uh, let me think. I probably have one. So, uh, unless we could try to take this one off. There there might be a way because yeah, it's, then, is it riveted or screwed? Uh, well, there's one little screw, let me take it off. So Emilio is trying to take out that antenna uh, piece to see if we can adapt it to the other stereo. That might work. No. Too big. So Emilio found an adapter finally, but it didn't it wasn't the right adapter, so he's trying to MacGyver this whole thing in. Without obviously without cutting the factory harness. Right Emilio? Correct. This is a self made adapter. For the antenna. Yeah, this is a temporary solution for now. It's better than not having a stereo till we can get the the proper. Uh, actually, we're not even going to get the adapter. We're just going to replace the stereo with a nice aftermarket unit once we get it. But for the time being, I think it's. Let's give it a test. Well, the test has worked. So officially. You owe me money. <laughs> and before I attach the screws, how much? <laughs> we'll discuss it off it camera. camera. <laughs> no, no, no. You know I don't do anything, any binding agreements. I guess you're getting a taillight warranty then. <laughs> I knew I was going to get that anyway. <laughs> 